My name is Jenna Marbles, and I'm going to draw my life. I was born in upstate New York, and my parents had my brother, but he is really tall. He's like 6'5", so that's him. And then they had me two years later. And my dad loves Subarus, and he's also a chemist. He has lots of really cool patents for things like polymers that I don't even understand. And my mom worked in lots of different things, but mostly is just a badass. But when we were little, my parents got divorced, but that worked out all right because my dad remarried, and his wife has big boobies that I would put my face in when I was sad, and my mom's been with her boyfriend for like ever, so everyone wound up pretty happy. Except for my siblings! And when I was little, I used to like to do gymnastics and dance, and I played the clarinet and the piano, and I wanted to work with animals or play soccer, even though I didn't know how to play soccer. And I had love for the animals, the furry things. I loved them so much. And every birthday I had, I used to blow out the candles and wish for a puppy or a kitty. But I couldn't have one because my mom was really allergic to them. But my dad got us a cat. And his name was Benny. And he absolutely hated us. And he would scratch up our faces. And that sucked. But also loved to play baseball and my dad with his awesome mustache was our coach and he taught me everything except one year he was like maybe you should play softball I was like why like I love baseball and he was like well you're distracting the boys so yeah, it's valid some of my favorite memories from growing up were at our lake house and we would go swimming and fishing canoeing and one time we were sitting around the fire pit and the snake came out. My dad like killed it with a knife and we were like, whoa, dad, you're such the man. And then another time I did a backflip off of our dock and I hit my face on a ladder. And then that's why I broke my nose and I have that weird T-shaped scar on my face. So stop making fun of me. And growing up, I also had a best friend and her name was Brittany and we did everything together. And I was really sad in seventh grade because I realized that everyone in my school was really smart and that made you cool and I was sort of just regular and I took regular classes and sort of felt like I didn't fit in with everyone else so sad Jenna was sad. I also really liked this boy who didn't like me back and I would go wait outside of his locker every morning before homeroom and in one quarter where there's 60 days I had 52 tardies because I was just waiting for him in his locker and he also used to call me flat chested which used to make me cry but I did keep some notes and stuff and other people everything that's ever mattered to me in a little shoe box because uh, I'm sentimental like that and when I got to high school my best friend dropped out so I was really lonely but in ninth grade I met this boy named Willie in gym class and we wound up dating each other for four years and we eventually broke up to go to school but that was really nice and all my regular people classes and regular things decided to pay off because I went to college and all I wanted to do was go to a big city so I didn't know what I was going to do but I just wanted to get out so I went to Boston when I was 17 I didn't know what I wanted to study, I didn't know anyone, I had no friends. And on my 18th birthday, I just laid in my dorm room and cried. And sad, Jenna was really sad. But it didn't last for too long because I played softball. And so I got lots of friends. And for the first time in my entire life, I felt comfortable being exactly who I was and being weird. And it was the greatest feeling ever. I also got a MacBook computer and I taught myself how to edit with iMovie and I used to make these funny videos for myself, but I didn't think anyone else would ever think they were funny. And then I went to grad school and I got a master's degree when I was 22 and I thought my life was like starting. I was so excited. Me and my friend were going to move to Texas and then she bailed on me last minute. And I thought my whole life was over, like you ruined everything. And now all my weird part-time jobs, like go-go dancing and bartending and working in a tanning salon were my full-time jobs. And I had no job in my field. And I was so sad and confused. And then one day I was locked out of my apartment and this boy was moving in upstairs. And I was like, I've never seen you here before. And he was like, I've never seen you here before. 
Oh my god, that's because you're moving, alright, whatever. Uh, you're weird. I gotta go, and so I jumped in through my window, and he just stood there and watched me. But I guess that was endearing, because we dated. And we even started a little dog family together, and moved in and had a family. And then my whole life changed, because I got a job at BarstoolSports.com. The owner, Dave Portnoy, asked me if I wanted to be his assistant, and I cried because I was so excited, and he taught me everything about the internet, like how to be funny, and how to blog, and how everything worked, and one day on my way home from the office, I got the idea of the how to trick people into thinking you're a good-looking video, and so I made it, and Dave even put it on the website, and more people saw it, and I was so excited and nervous and he gave me my own website to write so I did that for like six months except I realized that it wasn't really making me happy and I wanted to make videos and he sort of knew that too but we could never see eye to eye and sort of ended badly but and then I was back to really sad Jenna no job no direction don't know what I'm doing so I just decided to make videos again after six months of not doing it because that's all I liked doing and then I found the YouTube community, this cool, amazing group of people that had these awesome videos, except they all lived in Los Angeles and I lived in Boston, so I went to visit and I loved it. And then a year later, I saved up enough money and asked Max to go with me, and he did. And so we moved to Sunshine Land. But as you guys know, Max and I broke up about four months ago, and it was really sad, and it's been really hard. Because I don't really know anyone here, but life is complicated, and you never know what's going to happen, but if it's meant to be, it'll be, and if it's not, it won't. But now I'm sad Jenna again, and I don't know what I'm doing, and I think if I had it all figured out, I would be doing something wrong, because I think it makes it so that you can't grow, and you have to be confused in life, or else you won't grow. But all I know is that YouTube makes me really happy, and all of you make me really happy, and without your love and support, I would be lost. And I always thought that if you have someone you love or something you love, that life would be easy, but it's not. And I still have no idea what I want to do with my life. I'm more confused now than I've ever been. But your love and support has changed my entire life, and just seeing your comments I realize all I ever want to do is make people happy. And so now, for my future, I have no idea what's going to happen. Even if YouTube or anything doesn't work out, I have big plans of getting a farm and filling it with animals and then laying in the middle of the farm and just being covered in puppies and kitties and sheep all day every day. And I wish this video had a happier ending, but all I do know is 